Well, begin with an ass championship. But we gave them hell. Welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada. Let's try a bounce back. But today, home to the start of another exciting college football season as we we're so in there. Here in Vegas, in the Las Vegas kickoff class. Kentucky ready to go to Meeks Leather and start this game. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it At up. least we're number 14. The Hawkeyes offense takes the field to start this game off. Here he comes, and obviously a defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback. But boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons. He's got the confidence. He's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. Works ahead for a couple, they'll stop him at the 27. Third down conversion is always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. Unloads to the wideout. Working the middle. Put it right on him. I got a recruit. Bad. The Hawkeyes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The give to the batter. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Power football with the run. Pick up a five. It'll be third down and five. Listen, I know that's not a huge game. Those run plays add up. They make you tackle the back every single play. Physically, you have to get some guy on the ground. It takes its toll throughout a fourth quarter game. Lost one deep down the right side. Oh, we did it! They came out attacking. We hold the hell. Well, and they missed a big chance on that one. And the Hawkeyes line up to punt it away. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. Catches it cleanly at the 20. And he's going to get it up to about the 29 yard line before he's brought down. The Wildcats offense will try to get something going with their first possession. One matchup to watch in this one is how well do the backers tackle in space, David? Yeah, and you've got to have great linebackers to get this guy on the ground. And they've got it. So it's going to be an interesting matchup. A lot of head to head battles, linebacker versus running back. Yeah, tackling him in space, but also covering him out of the back. Well, these two dudes are going to be shadowing each other all game long. Drag down after a pickup of five out to the 35. SEC versus the Big Ten. They compete in everything. They try to spend each other, and they certainly want to beat each other on the field. So many national yeah. championships, so many Heisman Trophy winners shared between these two conferences, David. Everybody gets excited when the Big Ten takes on the SEC. And these games matter so much. The fans get so amped up, so juiced up, to the point where we hear in the stands, what? SEC. SEC. They wouldn't say that if conference pride wasn't a real thing. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chain. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. Kentucky sends out the punting unit. No return coming. He'll call for hey, that was a crit three and out. Iowa has the ball back on offense. They we'll see what happens. What do I do so far? Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. He'll come out throwing on first down. Quickly to the tight end. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Got the completion on the last play, still some work to We're do. We're gonna see how They're gonna run it to the right. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough on first down. 
But with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to put up a long one. They'd just been running into the wall and just couldn't seem to find their creases and get a better weapon up front. But they finally got it there picking up the first. Let's see what happens now. Didn't get much on first down at second and nine. Now that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Here they come on third down, and the defense has had no answer so far. Wide receiver coming across in motion. And the pass to the sideline will pick up a short game. Hell yeah, we the are holy man. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Wanted to make sure not to give them a chance for a return as it goes out of bounds. Kentucky has it back in the big blue offense takes the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. He wants to throw. They're setting up the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. You know, sometimes even a short game like that can be used to set up something bigger later on. No doubt, Reese, they can pump that and take a shot down the field. And don't worry, they're going to go back to that same play because they know this guy with the ball in his hands is dangerous. He makes one guy miss, he can take it to the house. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. What a job to lay out and make the catch. Man, I love those guys that are willing to put their foot on the line. And he does great here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see that was, several yards that out. That was an interesting foul. Keeping the football from touching the turf. Great concentration. Great effort by the receiver. They stop him just a week or two short of the first. And man, what they can do on second down here. Less than a yard to go. Pick up the first down. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. The Wildcats come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll try to outflank him with the jet sweep. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Great job by the defense there, slowing down that jet sweep. And a big key was the defensive end containing the play, forcing the receiver to cut back inside. Let's it fly deep downfield. And it's incomplete after taking a shot on second down. They're staring at third. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Got him downfield. He's here, he makes the stop, but not before he sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. And that's a really good example of the quarterback and his intended target both being on the same page. The timing was almost perfect on that play. That's why they were able to convert the third down, now setting up first and goal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. We're through one period, and these receivers are showing out big time. Take a look at the stats. They'll try to open this quarter by sticking it in the end zone here. They'll run it up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. Pushes ahead for two to the seven-yard line. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big... Touchdown, Wildcats! And they made it to the house when they found that six points waiting on them. Can't start a game any better than that. Defense gets the stop, gets it back to the offense. You march down the field, you score there in a great rhythm now on both sides of the ball. 
We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Guys, right back to your game after your completion on this one. Air Force dug down deep and found a way to secure a coveted road win. And who knows how the pundits will view this one, but I'll tell you this. It sure beats trying to explain a bad loss. 60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome, and certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standings, fellas. Yeah, how about that? It sounds as if they had a good ball game there, Kevin. Thanks for the update. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. On second down, he'll try to make the connection this time. He got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long, balls at the 25. Here's the snap, etching to fire downfield. A little screen to the running back. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. This freshman is going to be talented. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. They'll keep it on the ground. And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, he has to throw for it. It's oh. complete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. And the Hawkeyes will try to pin them back with the punt. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Looking deep down the right side. And he makes the catch at the 25. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys on the perimeter that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. This quarterback is facing. Just missed on the connection incomplete. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Hand off from the shotgun. Fights his way ahead. They get him down after a pickup of three. They'll mark it at the 12. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And he motors in Second touch set. We're right probably going to have to give it to those two fresh fans. But hey, it's fourth and well. We're going this far, yeah. down, but there's also a flag that's been dropped. Let's check on the call. So the penalty will not be enforced. The defense defines the stands on the result of the play. Here comes the offense on second down. 
They're trying to support Rush down with the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Man, what a spectacular play by that defensive end to come up with a tackle there. And you see those guys get off the football so fast. Most of these guys are 250 to 275 pounds, but they get off the ball fast, low. And the offensive line, they have no chance to stop those guys as quick and as fast as they are. The Hawkeyes will line up to punt it away. Well, what that punt lacked in height, it made up for by being short. Not going to take a chance to grab that one as it bounces out of bounds. Kentucky has it back in the big Whoa, ball. Whoa, what? Three the yards. They've jumped on the oh, executing oh. at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact start you want. I mean, offense is playing great. Defense has gotten stops. You're in a position now, Bob, to put the hammer down and get a free possession. I'm really impressed with their physicality on both sides of the ball early in this one. They've been winning in the trenches. So here on offense, keep running the football and show your dominance. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator to pick up a bunch of yards on the first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. The Wildcats brought to the ground, but not before picking up the first. You got to wonder if that's a moral victory for this offensive line, because they have not been running the ball well at all, all game long. But on that short yard situation, they finally pick it up, and maybe that's going to be the catalyst for them to get this thing going and spark the run game. They make the stop, but a good pickup there on first down. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. He's looking to throw. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football. And now they face third down. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. In the gun, looking to throw on third down. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. Kentucky will be forced to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Iowa has the ball back. I mean, running out of time here in the first half. They still have a chance to make this a one possession game. And so you got to locate your best players and get them the football on this drive. You're down in the game. There's obviously a lot of football left, David, but on this drive, in this two-minute situation, best players got to touch them. And this could get into pressing mode, right? Like you go into the half, down a couple of scores, it starts to, the pressure really, really mounts. Good opportunity to take some of that pressure off, get some momentum, energize this squad going into halftime. Offense rushing to the line of scrimmage. Clock is stopped for the first down. They'll try to get it off quickly. Shoots it to the left. Makes a connection. Oh, and the defense in chase mode, and they finally get him down at the 35. And the Hawks We made good plays. He'll just keep slinging it. Makes his connection. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. Then we want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. They'll throw it from the red zone. The quick out. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. He's looking to throw. Fires a ball and now it's picked off. He'll try to take it back. And they capitalize that the pick, but the oh, okay. to give the offense tremendous field position. It's just part of playing the position, and that's an interception this young man's going to learn from. That's the first interception he's thrown in his college football career, and guess what? It's probably not going to be his last. you got to turn the page and learn from it. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Couldn't connect on first down, now back to the air. 
And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Oh, what a grab by the defense. How about that? Making a play and setting up your offense inside the 40 and the 39. It's all about making plays. I don't know how it up is big. He gets his first interception of the season, and what a momentum-changing play for his team. Coming after it. He holds one deep. Oh, we side. almost pick it off. Now second and ten. Easy. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, try to convert through the air. The quarterback bought as much time as he could, but the defense got to him and sacked him. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Just enough time to get off one final play of the half. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. They'll be able to snap it one more time. Let's see how aggressive they are on first and ten. He's going to pass. He'll off one deep down the left side. Pass is incomplete, and that's going to do it for the first half. It's on ball. The Hawkeyes will kick it away first, and we'll start the second half. From inside his own 15, looking for a crevice. Maybe if he could have eluded just one or two more guys, it would have been a big return, but they'll mark it at the 30. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. We have 14 nothing. And we'll see if they even need to look for balance as we start the third quarter. Well, and I, and I think defensively, you understand, like, the running game isn't a big part of the plan. I wonder how they adjust to play more coverage to this pass happy offense. Yeah, so you're going to have to be ready if you're a quarterback, then. You're probably going to see some different coverages. You might see a little bit more blitz in the second half as well. So you have to know where your answers are. That was just a perfectly choreographed screen. The line got out on time. The running back had a wall in front of it. And I think the quarterback did a really good job of selling the pass and then kind of dodging the pass rush, getting it to the running back, and then let him do the rest. You got him in space, he'll pick up yards in a hurry. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Discards a man. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot him at the 42. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south, get a first down, get a new set of downs. And the Wildcats are moving quickly down the field. They'll throw it on first down. And the quarterback is snowed under. If a free safety comes blitzing, you've got to throw a slant behind it to the receiver. So that time, the quarterback and receiver, they may not have been on the same page. He looks that one in nicely. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. And the offense here dialed up a really good zone beater. Give credit to the offensive coordinator. He called the right play at the right time. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. 
Got to get the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short in your infield goal range. What do you do here? On fourth down, trying to find his man. And it's in, completes the long pass downfield. They couldn't hook up. That is just the play you've got to be able to come up with. They don't get bigger than that. Fourth down, you've got to make the catch. Whether it's a perfect throw or whether it's off of your body, you're good enough for your athletic. I don't know, but watch that. Defense, you get to play outside linebacker, it's about as good as it gets, right? I get to rush the passer just like this and put him on the ground. Then I get to cover in space. I get to move all over the place. Great job by the outside linebacker. The most fun position to play in college football. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. Got it in the middle, it's Wood. Good pick up there as he gets the first down and they'll mark him at the 48. Well look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm and what better way than converting on third down. Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. He's got it. They get him down after he makes the catch. Now on second down after the short completion. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And look, this guy has some serious moves, and he tried all of them and still didn't get Oh, man, I forgot. He plays defense, too. Really good. Are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. Can't quite make the connection there. Might have let him a little too much. And the Hawkeyes will punt this one away. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Cover guys do their job and they get him stopped at the 22-yard line. Kentucky has it back and the big blue offense takes the field. They've got it back after that last drive stalled out and they were stopped on fourth down, David. Yeah, and they put a little bit of a drive together, but Jesse, they stalled on the other side of the field. They gotta find a way to keep that momentum going as they get closer to the end zone. I agree. I, I do like their mindset, though, and I think they need to continue being aggressive moving forward in this game. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. He's looking to throw. Caught. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33 and it's first down. You know, the defense, they just haven't been able to find an answer for this guy throughout the course of the game. Obviously, he's got two touchdowns, picks up the first down there. They've tried doubling them. They've tried man coverage, zone coverage. Nothing working on defense. They can't stop him. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. I'll tell you what, if you want to be overzealous, you want to be a blitzer all the time, I like running the screen right behind him. Did a great job throwing the screen. Almost broke this one for a long game, but it just keeps the defense a little bit more honest if you want to start putting a lot of pressure. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Kentucky back at it with a fresh set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And it goes through his hands. I mean, he got the arm. Play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Well, the defense is starting to figure it out, I think. It's taking them some time. This guy already has two touchdown catches. That time, though, they were in a better position in coverage to force the incompletion. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Well, a nice gainer on that running back screen. And how about the offensive line getting downfield and getting blocked to really help out the back, find some space to go to work? Putting together a real scoring threat here as they pick up the first down at the 36. Final minute now in the third quarter. Wide receiver shows motion. 
The receiver on the jet sweep. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And to stop the jet sweep, you've got to be great at containing. You have to have players in the perimeter of your defense funnel the football and force it to go back inside. That time, that defense was not allowing that receiver to get outside. They'll run play action. He's moving out of the pocket. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. You use the play action to try to slow down the rush, make the defense hesitant. In that case, they weren't hesitant at all. No, they weren't. Throws toward the end zone. And good coverage there, and knock it away and deny the score. Kentucky sent out the money unit. He'll try to really get into this one. And the pump will hit at the 7, and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. This should be the last play of the quarter. He's looking to throw it. He lets one fly deep. And it's not going to be complete, and that's how we'll wrap up the third quarter. No question they wanted to get the ball to their playmakers, and both receivers have come up big through three. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. Dialing up a second down pass play. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Now on third and ten, if they can move the chain here, maybe they can get this drive started. Feeling some heat. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. They'll leave the offense out there to try to get it past him. He's going to throw deep right side. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. Yeah, a good they job, man. Back out onto the field. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up from the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling and create some momentum. Just get a few first downs on in scoring position. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. None at all. Great job by the defense getting in the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to run. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Takes the easy throw in the flat. He ended up going backwards on the play, and they will not convert that third down. And they decide to trot out the kicker. This field will try to make it a three-score game later. Absolute shame. Okay. Missed the field goal. Missed the chance to make it a three-possession game. It's still a 14-point lead, guys. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. There's been a couple of missed opportunities for these offenses in the last couple of drives, Jesse. And I think for this offense here, it'd be nice to hit an explosive play, be aggressive, and really pay off your defense's effort that last drive. And instead of having to move the ball down the field consistently and then getting stopped on four downs, you're right. Create some of those explosives. Take those deep shots. Make those big plays. Still running at the 40. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one. First down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. To the air on first down. He's right on target. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. The Hawkeyes moving quickly to the line. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the spot. Yeah, dude, get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make the legs. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock. That is at a premium for this offense. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, it's really good job by the defender, understanding the ball's coming. I gotta break on it and go, and not try to intercept it and make a bad play. He swats it down to make sure that's an incompletion. Catch in the middle, it's one. And this defense has its work cut out to get this dude on the ground. He was shedding serious tackles on his way to picking up the first. They're threatening to score and they'll throw it. He's got him still on his feet. Stop at the three, but it'll be enough to give them a first and goal on the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. Back to the air one more time. Pulls it in the end zone. Touchdown, Hawkeye. Oh, Uncle Mo has changed sidelines. Look out, brother. Here's what happens, right? Something happens. Get you close in the ball game. The defense needs to come out here. Get a stop. Get that ball back to the offense. Oh, Uncle Mo on your side. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. The give is here. Tick, 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 tick. Just gets it to the 28, pick up the one. Well, at this point of the game, with the lead in the fourth quarter, deep in their own end, they're going to want to run the football, no doubt. The defense knows that, and they're going to be trying to rip it out, seeing if they can get a takeaway to set up their offense in great field position. So, ball security right here has got to be big. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. Offense calls a timeout here, critically important to make sure they have the right play call and everyone on the same page here. And if you didn't know this was a big play, the crowd is telling you. A huge third down. He'll set up the throw. Unloads to the wideout. Finds a man in the middle. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Here comes Kentucky after picking up that first down. From the gun, running back gets the give. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Now facing a third and long. They'll try to run. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Kentucky will be forced to punt. We're going to take it, Sly. No, I beat sir. Looks as if they didn't get it off in time. It'll be a new game. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Um. Kentucky sends out the punting unit. It's over. Let's see what he can do with it. They make the stop on the return, but there is laundry on the field. Let's get the call. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. And the offense is content with where it is. They'll take a knee. We waited so long to start.